This is Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update, sponsored by Species Nutrition. As most of you out there know, there was a fight at the LA Fit Expo between uh, 5% himself, Mr. 5% himself that is, Rich Piana, and a guy by the name of Mack Truck. Uh, wasn't much of a fight, but uh, there was definitely a confrontation that occurred. Uh, a lot of people have given their opinions. Uh, we really haven't heard from Rich Piana. I spoke to him on the phone. Uh, the day of the event that it happened, uh, and he told me pretty much his version of the story. I spoke to Mac Truck also uh, two days ago. He gave me his version of the story. Uh, Mac declined to uh, come on the show to be interviewed. He said he didn't want to, you know, he had no problem telling me what happened, but he didn't want to, you know, come on and say it in his own words, I guess you could say. Rich Piana is traveling, uh, still back from uh, California. Uh, whether we get him on the show later this week or early next week is uh, debatable. We'll have to see what his schedule is and whether he wants to do it. However, we do have another person who is probably the most damaged person in the whole incident, and that's Alex DeSiero, uh, who was uh, Rich's friend, and uh, I guess he was working at the booth with him, and uh, he's known as an MMA fighter, and we're going to get him on in a little while. And he's going to tell us his version of what happened, because... No one else got hurt except for him. He wound up with two blown patella tendons, which he's going to need surgery on. We're going to hear about that as well. And uh, once again, uh, of the whole incident, no one's really talking about Alex. And Alex was the one person that actually got uh, injured at the event. So let's, you know, let's bring him in right now. Alex, are you on the line? Yes, I'm here, brother. Uh, good to talk to you. Uh, I understand that you uh, have a surgery uh, planned in the next couple of days, huh? Yes, uh, tomorrow I'm going to have uh, both knees, patella tendon, uh, extrusion. Now, uh, I've had my right quadricep uh, repaired three times. And I will tell you one thing, that having one leg incapacitated is, is very bad. But having two, uh, I can't even imagine. How are they going to get you around? Are you going to have to be in a wheelchair for a while? Well, uh, I can walk with braces very tight but i mean after surgery i don't think i'm gonna be able to to put it well <laughs> we gotta do something right we gotta get you mobilized we gotta get you one of those like robotic machines that walks you around all right let, let's let's go back to that incident on saturday uh, you guys are all working the booth there's a there's a, probably 20 30 guys at that five percent nutrition booth um first of all what's your relationship with, with rich piano just a friend, good, you know, good friend. I just enjoyed the team I probably a year ago, you know. But, yeah, that's about a good friend. That's it. And what qualifies you to be a 5%er? Like, what, what, what's, what's freakish about you or what's, what's different from the regular population? Well, I guess just uh, what I'm doing, bodyguarding, fighting, you know, just that's about it. Like, you know, nothing... Must say measure, I guess. Now, were you were you actively uh, doing MMA fighting? You know, up until this point. No. Okay. When was the I, last time I, you fought? I stopped doing probably five, six years ago. For you know, it was not. I, I make money more doing another thing than fighting. Right. The only promoters make money on this business, so. <laughs> That's true. I just said, you know what? Let me do this. I make a lot more than fighting and training for three months and get injured and stuff so that's it you uh what was your record i have a 33 and 3 boxing record and i have a four and no mma fights okay so you were you were a dangerous guy in the ring we can say that well i'm, I'm having a pretty good record so far but <laughs> so you were dangerous in the sense that that you beat most of the people that you went up against yes I mean. yes, yes yes okay so you retired six years ago, and you've been bodyguarding. Have you, been, have you bodyguarded any celebrities that we might know? Well, I've been working for Mayweather. I've been working for Pacquiao, Chino Maidana, uh, Brandon Rios, Mike Garcia. Yeah, so I know no Mike. boxers. Yeah, I know Mikey Garcia. Um, all right, we've established what, you're, what you do now, essentially. So you're a retired MMA fighter, and you were at the booth because you like Rich, you just you joined the team recently, you wanted to have a, a nice, enjoyable day. No, I'm sure when you got there, you had no intentions of having to fight or anything like that. What no, happened? 
What happened? Did this guy, Mack Truck, come up to the booth and challenge anyone? How did that whole confrontation first start? Okay, I was in the booth working, helping, whatever, and uh, I saw this cameras coming. I, I never saw that guy in my life. I don't even know what's going on between him and Rich. Hmm. And another guy on the team told me, hey, this is Mac. And I was like, uh, okay, who's this guy? You know, I thought it was somebody famous because he had cameras on it. <laughs> and then, yeah, because, you know, who, who's going to have a camera right. filming him? Anyways. And then the guy said, oh, he have a beef with Rich. I'm like, oh, well, they're going to, you know, whatever they're going to do, they're going to settle. But I'm sure it's not going to be here. So that this mad guy already has planned to do that because right. you know what I'm saying. Because nobody gonna go on the camera filming with right. guys there. Oh, just and then he say, "Oh, I'll be in there to say hi." Come on, man! You already been filming the entering, anyways. So he was talking to Rich. Rich came talk to him like a man. Say, "Hey, whatever we have, let's go outside. Let's you know, let's settle or another place, whatever you want." And he just pop Rich. Rich don't even touch him. Just all right. Pop Let me case. stop you for a second. Let me stop you for a second because I I, I watched the video, yes. and I saw that there was Rich was yelling at him for quite some time. Now the the question remains, because Mac Truck insists that he didn't start any yelling back and forth at Rich. He just was there to you know make his presence felt because he had, he feels that he has his own fan base and he wants to, and he wanted them to see him. The only person I heard yelling in the video was Rich at, at, at Mack Truck. How did Rich get so incensed that his voice was going so loud? Was Rich putting on a show for the audience? Or was Rich r really pissed off because of something Mack said to him? Okay, I was there. I didn't hear no yelling. Maybe because the sound system behind Rich. Right. That's make him, you know, get loud, but not yelling. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I was next to him. And I heard, you know, both even talk. And I didn't hear no yelling right. at all. I hear, you know, yeah, he would say, let's go outside, let's, let's do this like a man. But, right. I mean, I don't know if it's that yell or not, but it's a big sound system behind us that they're loud. Maybe that's caused the, let's say, yelling, yes. But it's no, it's no, right. you know, it was very calm and, you know, just, just try to, to make everything peace. Now, at some point, Rich kept pushing the issue of going outside. And why did Rich keep pushing if Rich wanted to defuse this whole situation? It seemed like Rich was pushing this guy a little too much, almost shaming him into having to do what he did. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like a fight was starting right from what I, at least the video that I was watching, you know? Not at all. Not yeah. at all. Rich was trying to get that, like, you know, just settle. Uh, like uh, not there, you know, because Richie knew already he went there to cause problem. Right. Okay. Richie tried most he can to not do this there. Let's go outside. Let's walk like a man. Me and you, that's it. No cameras, nobody there. That's just me and you. Let's settle. And he just turned around. He looked around and just nobody expected just pop. You know, that's this. No. Nope. When you saw those two punches getting fired off, one, the first one kind of grazed Rich's cheek, and so it seemed, and then the second one missed. Rich kind of backed away from him. And, and granted, they were about three feet apart at that point, so the, the chances yes. of a punch connecting probably were very slim anyway. Even if the guy landed solid on Rich's face, it probably wouldn't have been too powerful. Um, what happened at that point? What did you do when you saw those two punches thrown? Well, I went to, you know, to, to try to, you know, push those guys away. Mm -hmm. And uh, Did you think a big fight was going to start at that point? Well, I was, oh, yeah, everybody just rushed, you know, to, to, to try to, you know, to break that up. Yeah. You know? And uh, then I went next to Rich. They, you know what, motherfuckers, just whatever, go, whatever. And uh, Mac friend was starting to talk shit with me. What do you say? You know, the, the no other guy, the, whatever, the guy there. And uh, he just tried, you know, who you think you are, you don't know, you know, body, you know, don't, don't, don't get involved, you know. And then he started taking his watching, tried to take his shirt off, 
and I just, you know, I went there because, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Mac. Yeah. Mac is, is instigated to, like, you know, talking shit to me, too. So then I throw the kick. I went there, throw the kick, my left foot <clears throat> uh, stuck on the carpet. I blow my knee. All right, let me, let me stop you for a second because I, I think it's important that our audience understand something. Um, I, don't, I don't fight, okay? I'm not a fighter. I, was never, I never got involved with street fights. I maybe had one or two fights my whole life in school, all right? But, so I don't know this. When you're going to fight someone, okay, what are the rules of engagement? In other words, when do you know it's time to throw a kick or punch and when it's time to just be chill? At what point, is there any rules like that you go by in your mind, like when you're assessing a situation? You obviously went for this guy because you thought he was going to hit you at that yes. point. Yes. He, he, he called me. He just called me, come, just let's do it right now. Right. You know, that's what he did as a man. You know, he's a man. He just right. said, okay, let's do it. He took his watch off and right. went there. Be, now, the other side, which his hands down, he was asking him to walk out and do that. That's a different way. Now, if he Rich has his, you know, okay, let's do right now, here, that's another way. Right. So Rich wanted no fighting inside the, in, in the no, area there. No, not at all. All right. Not okay. at all. Which was, I thought, was, which was professional. Look, it's his booth. He's, he doesn't want the LA Fit Expo people to think he's, you know, starting melees in the middle of the expo. All right. So yeah. you, you throw the kick. Your foot gets caught in the carpeting, and then something gives out. You go down on one knee. What happens next? Well, when my my blow my left knee blows, I kind of buck a little bit, you know. I was still up. Then I was fighting the guy. He just duck and start pushing me or whatever. How are you fighting and him if you had no balance? That's that's almost impossible. I, have, I had no balance. Yeah, that's why I kind of you know. So it was not Max's fault that my both knee blow blow. Right. I just have no knee, and the guy was pushing me down. And I just went down. I don't even know if Mac hit me on the back of the head. To tell the truth. I oh, so know. so Mac actually hit you in the back of the head, punched you. What's that? Did Mac punch you in the back of the head? I have no idea. The video said, like you said. Yeah. He said the Mac could punch you in the back of the head. I don't. I have no idea. On the video, I, I haven't seen no video that he punched me. But if he did, I mean, that nobody knocked me out at all. Well, you, just you got down. a big head, Mac. I might, stand up. You got a big head, Mac. Might have broke his hand on your head. Oh well, <laughs> I don't have anything in my head. So all right, so so you're on the ground now. Uh, I'm assuming all the the booth guys are trying to help you out at this point when you're on the ground. Who who pulled I'm you guys sorry? apart? Who pulled you guys apart? Separated everyone. Well, when I was in the ground, uh, the another the. People from from the booth behind me, and another guys from uh, our team, you know, just went there and broke up the fight, everything, and I couldn't stand up. Right. And then just the ambulance came, picked me up. That's it. Ugh, that's the worst. I know. Believe me, I, I went through it. Um, it's the worst feeling. And so they took you to the hospital, and what they do? X-ray you or MRI you? They X-ray first to see if it, something broke. Nothing broke. And then they did MRI, and it's like, yeah, you know, you need the, you need the surgery for sure on the right, not for and now when they, but they're gonna open the left one to see, but for sure gonna be done something. Right, right. Left too, well, so good luck with the surgery because believe me, uh, the surgery is not bad. It's the rehab after that, that that's that's you know, Rich can tell you about that because I'm sure he did the same thing with his knee. Uh, it's, exactly. It's gonna be ch- now, um, once all this went down, and obviously these guys took off, um, what, what, what's your feel, feeling about the whole incident? I mean, um, obviously we all have our, everyone who was there has their own impressions. Uh, one of my clients, um, uh, Cole Pearson, was there at the booth. He told me exactly what happened. I think he was hanging out with you most of the day. Uh, what what was your impression? I mean, did you, did you feel like, man, what did I do? Did, I shouldn't have even gotten involved. Did you have regrets, or did you feel you made the right move? Uh, of course, I I did not I don't think I did the right move, especially on the expo. You know right. what I'm saying? We should I should just say, you know what? 
I get you guys later, or whatever. Let's do the right thing. Let's right. do it in the ring. Everybody sign a win. Everybody be a man, and let's do this in the ring, in the cage. Okay, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not proud of what happened there. Yeah. So not 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 about my knee because nobody fall. Right. But my knee. Okay. Nobody well, fell, that's... nobody. You know what I'm saying? But he, so I don't. I'm not even mad at those guys. What happened to me? Because it was my fault, you know. Hmm. Nobody heard me. Fortunately, I heard myself, but that's what happened. Well, that, that's a very mature attitude because a lot of people like to blame other people for their problems. And you're saying, hey, look, you know, I, I went at the guy and I, I tried to fight him and my knees gave out. It was net, no one hit me. No one, you know, no one caused that. It was, it was a freak accident. Um, do you think that uh, Rich and uh, Mack Truck will ever maybe face off in a ring at some point in the future to settle the score? You know what? I really don't know, but if they do, I'm sure they're gonna. You know, they go. They're not gonna do, and they they should do in the ring. Yeah. You know, sign away with everybody and get yeah. on. Yeah. Do it for know. charity. What's that? We'll do it for charity. I'll raise a ton of money. We'll give it away to a charity or something like that. <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight, Rich or uh, or Mack Truck? What's that? Who do you think would win in a fight? between uh, Rich and Mack Truck? Look, I don't know Mack Truck, okay? I, I trained Rich before, okay? Right. Again, not because he's my boss, not because he's my friend. Rich knows how to fight, okay? Right. He's not ready to fight. Right. Okay? <laughs> he have, I mean, everybody knows he's huge. Yeah. Okay? His carter is not good yet, but he knows how to fight. He knows how to kick. He knows how to punch. His punching is very, very hard. Yeah. He have a very, very hand, very heavy hand, okay? But, I mean, I'm not going to lie. He, he's not ready to fight yet. Right. But he can be ready to fight. So you, you, would you train him if, if they agreed to fight each other? Would you train him for Of the course fight? I'm training him. Oh, of okay. course. All right. I might, I might even get on the get the... Now let's, let's get your knees healed first before you do exactly, any fighting anymore. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, <laughs> but right now... Like I said, everybody's saying, not everybody, it's very, it's half and half. People was there to see what happened, and people wasn't there, or people hate Rich, saying yeah, all this bullshit about what happened. Oh, he stepped on your face, you this, you that, oh, you got knocked the fuck out, man. <laughs> How can you want me to stand up? I cannot fly yet, okay? <laughs> I can't get up, I'm down. And the video yeah. said, I was fighting, and just disappeared, okay? <laughs> So everybody is, okay, oh, he got knocked the fuck out, right? Because he's down. Yeah. Hello, I have no legs, bro. Right. Well, you know, the, the funny thing about the whole incident was that it was really a terrible fight because Rich barely got hit and you kind of just, your legs just gave out on you and you didn't really get hit. So there was really no fight. It was a lot of scuttlebutt and a lot of people get, exactly. wanted, yeah. wanted to see a fight, but no fight ever broke out. Yeah, it was, it was just a bunch of, you know, pushing this. You know, I hit the guys a couple of times, but it's, it's like on the back of the head. I mean, it was just more like a, a stupid pushing there, pushing yeah. here, you know. I mean, again, I'm not proud of what happened, right. especially because it was an expo. Everybody's supposed to be, you know, working. But yeah. one thing I said is he went there. He was, he already know what he's going to do, Mac, mm -hmm. okay? He knew already he's going to do that causing trouble so unfortunately that's what happened right so let me get better and uh of course we're gonna we're gonna get more money if we get <laughs> make money on that shit that's right heal yourself up uh, uh thank you alex so much for talking to us and uh i wish you the best of luck with your surgery and thanks for filling us in on what happened at the uh, la fit expo this uh, past weekend thank you guys thank you very much all right That'll do it for now. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Exclusive.